And, well, just look at the record. 50 years, you've had parties talking about Dravidian cultures and Dravidian politics. And in fact, in these 50 years, it is these parties who have actually buried deep E.V. Perrier's whole issue of social reform. So there's no social reform. But instead, what we're getting is the worst kind of so-called economic reform, which is disempowered both the state and the mass of people in this state. And therefore, these parties shadow boxing with each other as far as power is concerned, but in reality, representing the same completely bankrupt social and economic policies. I mean, where is the issue of social justice in Tamil Nadu? You look at the kind of politics, base casteist politics, which is being played out all over the state. And you also look at the potential of this state and the whole issue of privatization, the issue of the loot of natural resources, the quarry mines loot. You just look around at any aspect of economic life and you will find scams and corruption. And therefore, what we also see is these parties are so compromised uh, as far as corruption is concerned, they cannot fight the battle for Tamil Nadu against an authoritarian dictator like Narendra Modi at the center. So the BJP is bulldozing the rights of the states. Tamil Nadu is completely silent. ADMK and DMK in Delhi are totally together in keeping silent in front of Modi's assault. So you need an alternative. You need a policy-based alternative. You need an alternative to rejuvenate the principles of the real movement for social and economic reform, which was started by the founders of what is known as the Dravidian movement. And these parties have totally lost it. They see a Murpoku, India Communist Kachi Wait Palar Huluk, Kadir Arival Sinatilum, Vidali Sirtaigal Kachi Wait Palar Huluk, Modiram Chinatilum, Tamil Manila Congress Kachi Wait Palar Huluk, Tenando Puchinatilum Vakalit, Amohaveti Parasayimari, Panivan Budan Vendhirom.